everybody. Hello, hello. Warm welcome from me this morning. My name is Sabrina. We will be doing a Pilates hit workout this morning. 30 minute quick, uh, quick hit workout. We're going to be using the blue band. So if you've got this blue uh, resistance loop band, please get it. Okay. If you don't have one of these, you're just going to take your normal resistance band. You're going to tie a knot in it, make a nice loop. Okay. Rather a smaller loop than a, a bigger loop if you're using the big resistance band. Otherwise, if you've got one of these, then great. So we're going to do a 30 minute hit workout based around this band. It's going to be all nice little exercises that zap you in those look and cranky places. We're going to go for one minute rounds. Very little break in between, but we will have those little rest pause moments. Um, if you need to do it for less than a minute because you're struggling a bit, that's fine. If you can go a full minute round for the exercise, then do so. All right. Make sure you got your band and let's get ready to begin. 30 minutes before you know it, it's done. So really give it your all and push through that 60 second round. Your computer? Uh -huh. Alrighty, let's get ready to begin. Taking your band and just putting your feet into that band. You're going to place the band about halfway up the lower leg, so in the middle area of the shin. Okay, let's just start with the roll down to standing with a little bit of space between your feet. Feel yourself slightly engaging your glutes, tucking in your pelvic floor. Take a deep inhale, lift the arms, lift the chest, and exhale. Again, inhale, up. And exhale, one more, up. And exhale, good. It's going to roll down. So breathe in, lift those arms. And as you let go, nod your chin, soften your chest, and then you start rolling down. Soften the knees, keeping your weight equally pressed through your feet. Breathe in. And exhale, tuck in the tummy, roll back up. One more. Inhale, lift those arms. And nod your chin, exhale, roll down. Hanging heavy, drop into arms, head, neck, shoulders, soft knees. Inhale, pause, exhale, scoop in the navel and restack your spine up nice and tall. Interlace your fingers behind your buttocks, roll your shoulders back, extend through your elbows and try and lift them up away from the roots as you pick your chest up. Taking a deep inhale through your nose. Hold that inhale and exhale and gosh. Good. All right. Let's get ready to begin. So the first exercise is going to be a basic hip abduction. So standing with a nice distance between your feet, soften each those knees. I want you to find the balance as you slightly shift yourself onto one leg. Pick the one leg up, inhale, exhale. We start abducting the hip. Nice and easy, simple. See if you don't have to land the foot every time for each abduction. So it's a lot of balance, the standing work, the standing leg is working. And if you're using this blue band, you're going to feel the fire instantly. Good. Standing wide, straight on to the other side. Find the balance, shift the weight, abduct through the hip. Remember, glutes are such a huge part of the core connection, they're such a major lower back support. So often we're sitting on chairs and the glutes are completely inactive. So to use this band during your glutes exercises really helps bring in that strength work. Two more. Last one and release. Good, we'll shake. Going into some jumping jacks, keeping the band just as it is. In four, three, two, one, let's go. 
So if you've got the band on your legs, don't jump too close with your feet together so that the band doesn't fall down to your ankles. You almost want to think of being able to maintain that tension through the band. Tuck in your tummy, keep your chest up nice and tall. And the arms, we want to get that blood flow happening into the shoulders. Feeling those glutes work, trying to open your waist. Good, come on, 15 more seconds. Yowzers, it's burning, let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Bring that band up above your knees, standing wide for some squats. We sit back and release it up, inhale. Hinging back from the hips, and with each rep, you want to open the knees wider. Exhale, sitting back, inhale. Make sure your knees are not going over the toes. Hinging back in the hips. Good, stay strong. See if those knees can open any wider as you slip back on that imaginary chair. Got 10 more seconds. Good, now we're gonna go into a balance exercise similar to the first one. So lowering that hand, shift your weight into one side, pick up the other leg and hold it here. See if you can bend your standing knee, you can open a bit wider, and just stay steady. You should be feeling both boots working slightly different, but both working. Wider, bend. Knee tracking in line with the foot, in line with the ankle. Five, four, three, two, and over to the other side. Bend the standing knee, align your hip, knee, and ankle. Open up that leg nice and wide. Balance and hold it. Come on. Notice how you press into your foot. A little bit wider, a little bit more bend. Come on, come on. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake it out. Okay, take it out of there. It's going to a bit of upper body. So again, if you've got this loop band, it's probably going to be challenging. If you try to knot in your resistance band, it might be a little bit easier. Like I said, smaller loop rather than bigger loop. So very easy, very simple, just with your hands in the band. Palms facing down. You're going to pull your hands apart. Okay, let's go. Keep your spine lifted, chest up. I want you to open your collarbones rather than rounding forward. Lift up. Think of maintaining the space between your earlobes and your shoulders. Keeping your arms securely put in their sockets. Good. And really keep those elbow joints nice and secure. Small movement, but a lot of burn going on here. Don't fully relax. Keep that tension in the band. Trying to expand my band wider, but I just can't. Don't underestimate these little mini exercises. They are killer. Good. And release it. Now, knuckle to knuckle, palms facing one another. Opening, same thing. Slightly lifting the arms a little bit higher. Good. 
It's a mini opening. Well, it's as much as you can open. Try not bend the elbows too much. You want semi long arms. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Woo! I'm feeling this. Mind over matter, stay strong. Even if the movement is tiny, don't stop. Eight seconds. Three. And release it. Woo, shake it out. Arms behind you. In the bed. Okay. Palms facing down. Roll your shoulders back. And little pressing of presses apart. So palms stay facing down. You're reaching your thumbs out to each side. And through this mini movement, roll the shoulders back and down. 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Opening wide. Wow. Hope you're feeling this, guys. Come on. Such a nice way to improve our upper body strength, staying off of joints. Just a few more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. And release it. Shake it out. One more, you can do it. Hands in the bed. Arms up overhead. Palms facing outwards now. So you're turning the hands outwards from there. Turn them outwards, up overhead. Or if you just soften the shoulders, even bend the elbows if you need to. Let's go. Really be strict about not elevating and shrugging your shoulders up. Melt them down your spine. Show me your beautiful long neckline. Draw those wing bones down your spine. And keep it equal and even through this movement. Good, keep going. Good, we've got 20 seconds to go. Strong to the end, come on. Ten, nine. Five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Shake out those arms. Good stuff. Let's take it down to the mat. I want you to think of roll like a ball, okay? We're going to put one foot into the band, pulling up to tabletop, but light on the band. It's actually the hip drawing the leg up, okay? Tucking in your navel, you're going to round down. And exhale up, landing one heel on the mat, one leg stays in tabletop. Let's go. Soft shoulders, nice round spine. See that you can keep the legs still through the movement, and the rounding is just through the spine. And then challenge yourself to not land the heel on the mat. Inhale, roll back. Exhale, find the balance, hold. Change legs. Trying the first two or three, landing the heel to the mat. Rounding through that lower spine or any tight parts of your back. And then see if you don't need to land that heel on the mat. You can rock through your pelvis and hold it in your core. Tuck in light to the feather, roll, and lift up, staying off your leg. Pulling in deep abdominal muscles up. We go for one more. Good. Now both feet in. Challenge yourself to do the double leg rock. So don't kick the legs out. Don't pull the knees away. Maintain that compact ball. Inhale, exhale, hold and balance.
Inhale, round, exhale, up. When you're up, if you can balance, try to extend the legs, holding them, imitating that teaser position, tucking the knees. Inhale, roll, exhale, up. Stretch, balance, chest lifts up. Knees in, round through the spine with control, up. Inhale, exhale. 15 more seconds to go. Round and lift up. Chest up. Balance. And last one. Good. Lovely, lovely. From there, keeping the band around your ankles, lay down onto your spine. Extend your legs up to the ceiling. If you need support to hold on your legs, do so. Otherwise, keep your hands at your sides, okay? And flexing your feet, you can open them up now. Exhale, open and close. So from that angle, open and close. I want you to keep your lower back especially imprinted. I want you to straighten your legs as best you can. You can interlace your fingers behind your head, or you can place your hands on your thighs for a little bit of extra support. But keep pulling your belly button in, draw it into the spine. Stretch and lengthen your legs nice and long. Flexing your feet throughout this movement. Nearly there, come on. Keeping tension in the band so it doesn't pull down the legs. Eight seconds to go. Good. And bend the knees, release, giving yourself a little gentle rock. Pick the band up above your knees. Tabletop your legs, hands at your sides. Exhale, open tabletop legs and close. In fact, let's keep the toes together and just open the knees. Okay? So from that angle, feet stay together and we open equally from left and right. So try to keep the feet steadily together. That your feet are not jumping up on top of one another. They can stay pressed together evenly and equally. Exhale. Very good. Strengthen that in the glutes, but deep in the hip sockets as well. We've got so many short muscles and ligaments deep underneath the muscle layers in the hip sockets. And exercise like this really targets in deeper hip sockets. Eight seconds. Good. Three. Two, one, and release it. Nice. Okay. From there, we're going to a little reverse tuck curl. So, at your side here, you can cross your ankles, draw your belly in, and just try to lift the tailbone up. Exhale, inhale. So, you want to try to use your lower abdominals to lift your buttocks off the mat, to lift your tailbone to try and lift the base of your lower back. See if you can do it without completely dropping the thighs on the bed. So you've got some little bit of space between your thighs and the chest. And then find the abdominal load. Think of going in deeper than the six pack layer here. Exhale, tuck and lift. Good, come on, keep going. 20 seconds left. Reverse and curl. Three, two, one, and release it. Good. Taking your legs out there, just placing one foot in the band, straightening the other leg nice and long. Give yourself a nice, well deserved hamstring stretch. So, flexing the foot that's on uh, the leg that's up to the sky, I want you to really flex that foot. It makes such a difference to the stretch. 
lengthen the other leg down. So two of your straightest legs, you've got to activate your thigh to straighten your leg fully. Okay, join your kneecap up your thigh. Soften your shoulders, breathe into your stretch. Good, gently carry the legs slightly across the body to where you can manage, giving a good stretch. And then release it and let's change legs. Other foot into band. Lengthen the leg down long. Flex that straight leg up to the ceiling. And draw it in. Good. Hold that stretch. Breathe into it. Good. Now I'm going to gently carry that leg across the body. Just keeping those shoulder blades anchored. Carry it across the midline to where you can manage where it feels bearable when you're getting a good stretch. Good. Long leg and release it. Good. Putting both legs into the band, I want you to roll onto your tummy. So lay on your tummy. I want you to really tuck your pelvic floor in and tilt your pubic bone into the mat so that you're protecting and supporting the base of your spine. And you're going to grow your legs a little bit longer, opening up, opening them up wider so you create tension in the band. And then growing the legs long, you're going to squeeze the glutes and pick the knees and the legs up to hover off the mat. Don't lift high, too high that you feel any sort of low back pain. Keep drawing in your navel if you're laying on a little ice cube, okay? So they don't have to be high, but they're hovering. Open and close. Let's go. Exhale. Think of leading the heels outwards, apart from one another. Keeping the knees off the mat. Possibly as much of the thighs as you can keep off the mat. Definitely going to want to make sure your mat is uh, thick enough for something like this. Otherwise, just place a towel underneath you. Keep leaving the heels out and the toes in through the movement. So you find the glutes strengthening where they need it. Small movement, but really effective with this tight little bag. A few more seconds. Good, and release it. Bending your knees, keeping the band where it is. Flexing your feet so your ankles are stacked above your knees now. You're going to keep your knees and thighs on the mat and you're going to pull your ankles apart. Let's go. Exhale. So opening the space between your ankles and feet and bringing them together. It looks like I'm not even moving from this angle, but I'm moving and I'm burning. I hope you are too. Woo -hoo. This is an excellent exercise because it is not a position and movement we're doing a lot. And through this angle, the muscles that are working to open up the space between our feet and ankle are really getting worked in this position. And it's so good because it's often a really underactive, unused area, muscle area. So you may be feeling it quite um, challenging to really even move much range in this exercise. A few more seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three. Two, one, woo, and go. All right, up to standing, similar to the way we started, and then we'll end it with a good stretch. So let's bring it to the hips, nearly there, pushing through to the end, standing up nice and tall, soften the knees, tuck in the pelvis, shifting the weight to one side, pick the one leg up, and let's start abduction. 
Try and balance staying on one leg through this movement. Opening as wide as you can for each rep. That's it, that's it. Three, two, wide, land on it, over to the other side, and it's done. Exhale, inhale. That's it, fire it up. Three, two, one. Ready for some jumping jacks, let's go. Keeping tension in your band here. Small jump, but effective. Avoid the band falling down the ankles. You can add the arms if you want. Woo, let's go. Good, stay with me, stay strong. We've got 20 seconds to go. That's it. Come on, find the strength through that area. It's a different type of core strength, yeah. Three, two, one. Woo. Bring that band up above the knees and let's go into those squats. Open the knees wide as you sit back and hinge. Exhale. Good, nearly there. Every time you sit back, you try to widen the knees in that bed. Good, 10 more seconds. Nice and wide. Keeping that flat back. One more, and release, good. Going into a balance of standing wide as you drop that band slightly. Shift the weight into one side, pick the leg up as wide as you can and hold. Bend the standing knee, open it wider. You can do this, come on. Think of your hip tracking over your knee and over your ankle. Open wider. Five, four, three, two, stand wide. Lift the other leg up, find the balance. Wider, bend the standing leg, align all the joints. Think of the space between the thighs you're trying to create here. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Good, good, good. I want you to stand, lifting one leg up through the band, grab your foot, and just find the balance and the stretch. So you're holding the band, helping you pull the ankle up. Other hand to the foot, helping you lift up the foot and ankle as you open the knee. So you want to try to get your foot in line with your knee here. The more you pick up through the band at the ankle, you should feel that beautiful stretch in the hip. Lifting up into your standing leg. Yes, and balancing. Good, let's try it on the other side. Grabbing the foot. Picking it up, opening the knee, opening the hip. Draw up into standing leg, find your balance, slowing it down. Inhale through your nose. Good, 
Good. And releasing it there. One more into glute, into pigeon stretch, taking it down to the mat. Squaring one leg off in front of you, lengthening the leg behind you. Squaring your hips to both face forward. You don't want to collapse down onto one bum cheek. Stay equally centered through the middle. Inhale, lift yourself and you can lower it down and take it as deep as you'd like. Good, and let's change legs. Lengthen back leg, squaring hips in front of you. Equally weighted, not collapsing on one side. Breathe in. Exhale, lower it down. Even though the glutes can burn so fast in these ex type of exercises, you'll be surprised at how they're feeling tomorrow. So make sure you're going to do a couple more stretches tonight and repeat some of these exercises that we did today. Good, release it from there. Well done, everybody. That is your 30 minutes band hit workout complete. Woohoo! Hope you have a beautiful weekend. Have a lovely day. Drink some water and join me again for some more. Bye. Bye. Prego. Thanks, Sabrina. Thanks, Sabrina. Cheers. Pleasure, pleasure, Cheers. ladies. Ciao. Bye, Anthea.